Hey guys, I'm Ashley Kamer, and in this video, I'm going to review brand new 2023 items from the Home Edit Collection, as well as many faves from the last launch in January 2022. What do you say we give it a roll? No? Okay. I was just checking anyway. Since you're here, you're probably very familiar with the popular modular storage systems from the Home Edit collection. Now, I'm guessing like many other rainbow organizing friends, you also made sure to binge watch both seasons of Get Organized with the Home Edit when it came out on Netflix. Am I right? Yeah, I see you. Okay. So they were back with more organization solutions and even bigger and better makeovers, right? That's what I'm here for. I want to transform some spaces in my home and I'm hoping that it provides you major inspiration for your own home because given where I'm starting from, there is, let's just say, a lot of room for improvement and some opportunities for some major transformations. Should we get into it? Okay, product one. So I am very excited to discuss all of the bamboo products with you. Now this was so exciting to see the high wall turntable. There are two different types of the bamboo turntables. They have a low wall and a high wall. So based on the purposes that you want to use them for, you may consider one of each or um, just kind of deciding what you want. Now what I've seen, of course we see on here, they have like some acrylic paints organized in there. You can definitely use them in a craft room or something. I also saw um, on the website they have like your personal care products that you would have in the bathroom and then they're just available to access quickly. I've also seen the low rise one on their website or on the Walmart website. You can see that they're using things like condiments in it. So perhaps it's a whole bunch of salad dressings to choose from or vinaigrettes or whatever. And then you can just spin and grab. I think that that would work well for short term items that you're keeping in the pantry or um, I, I really do like the idea of having it on my bathroom countertop. So. I'm definitely gonna try both just for the fun of it, you know? But gorgeous. All of the bamboo products are gorgeous. I will say that. And make sure to stick around because I do have a tip on some of them. You have to make sure from a quality control standpoint that you check some elements. I'm not gonna give it away yet. Keep watching. You can tell it's pretty sizable too. If you kind of, for reference. Oh, it's about, it's about the size of one's head. Or I could just tell you the measurements, you know? Nine and a half by nine and a half by four inches. Can we just talk for a second about these two? They are so, so cute. I love um, how they like bounce off of each other in the show. And I think that that's what's kind of fun about the collection here. So we've got uh, the bamboo elements from the 2023 collection that are more, uh, provide kind of a refined look, I guess, if you will. And then you've got the clear acrylic storage, which is fun because then you can see so much color and life. I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead to the small bin. So we have a medium sized bin and a small bin. I'm a big fan. Um, I think I'm gonna be saying that a lot. I'll try to have a different phrase here. But these bamboo small bins are very cute. You can see they have um, just some dried goods stored in the pantry in this, but there'd be so many uses, of course. And I think that if you had it, say, in drawers or something, something that's just easy where you could grab it and pull all of your collection out, say you needed to look at the contents and you want something like that that can tuck in a drawer and pull out easily, this seems to do the job. Now, I do like that you can stack these. They have a nice little inner lip and that makes them stackable, but they look great without. And you know, it's some things you're like, oh, it looks like it's made to stack, but it's not stacked. So then it just doesn't look right. This, it, it, it would it'd be a non-issue. 
at the same time though, it's kind of neat that it has just like that little bit showing at the bottom. Kind of like elevates it, it's like floating, right? Okay. <laughs> now, when I go and grab you the large bin, I'm gonna tell you, I'll just tell you the trick that I learned for making sure that you go home with a quality product and you're not disappointed. Ta-da! We have medium open front bin and the medium bin in the bamboo. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Now, I'm excited to talk to you about a use that I have for the open front bin. And first, I want to tell you about what I noticed. This could be with both the medium bin and the um, open front bin, but you do definitely need to look at the construction of these. When I was in the store, I saw some that were split in a couple of the corners and you just would not want to get home, find out your product is falling apart. And while it would function fine because it's so sturdy, you want it to be in pristine condition when you take it home, right? So there's just a few manufacturer's def um, defects if you take a closer look. Are these deal breakers? Nah, but worth swapping if you catch the flaws before you leave the store. I can't skip over the fact that they all have this debossed logo in them. So it's kind of like a wood burned um, logo, the T-H-E on there, I love that. It just really takes it to the next level. Any of the acrylic bins also have their logo on the bottom, but it's just, it's such, such a nice touch, like a great element for quality. Okay, I'm, I'm noticing something else. I guess maybe we even want to look at the grains on it because this actually looks like it's split. So these are full panels. However, this panel is split here and I can see it's almost, the sheen is a little bit different. So it's almost like a, um, a little strip was getting loose and somebody like pulled that off and then sanded it down or whatever because I can see an indentation. No big deal, but just the kind of things that you wanna look out for when you're in the store. Not everybody lives within nine miles of a Walmart and can't just easily return things. I will say, if you live within nine miles of a Walmart, you can get next day delivery to your store. So if you're having your eyes on products but you wanna be able to get them in your hands right away, that is a nice option as well. Then we have our bamboo three-tier riser. This is of course nice in the pantry, having uh, various things showing. You can also have it out on your counter if you like to display your spices. Maybe you have really cute spice jars. These are fun for, it looks like this is maybe different types of candy for a party. I do always like, I mean, it's kind of like checking out the mannequin in a store, right? You kind of like to see how they use the product on the product sticker itself. I think that's kind of fun to check out. Um, and then of course, even like their Instagram is so fun to look at and get some inspiration. I'm definitely going to be peeking at that before I'm placing items to see if it makes me go, oh, I never thought about doing that. So I'll have a few more suggestions just as a result of using their resources. And again, these items are a Walmart exclusive. It says right on them, sturdy construction. It really is. I'm examining it, I'm not seeing any defects, it looks great. For the most part, I think all of the products will be perfectly fine. And I have yet to find any flaws when it comes to the acrylic bins. I think that means it's time to move on to the acrylic bins, right? All right, I moved the bamboo products into my pantry just to sit there on the desk until we get over there. So next, I wanted to show you the larger bins that are available at this point. We have, first off, there is the large bin, and now there is the extra large bin. Whew. XL. Check it, right? All right. Check it out. So with this one, I mean, I see a lot of 
purposes. You could definitely do sweaters and uh, larger items, of course. But what's nice about this modular organizing system is that kind of anything goes. So you could take items from say the bath edit or the laundry edit, as those collections are called, those mini product bundles. You can take those smaller products from a product bundle and you can put them within a larger bin. That kind of gives you perspective, right? I love the customization of this kind of stuff because, I mean, again, possibilities are endless. You have so many different purposes. So it's the kind of thing you buy once and then you have it for life. You can like pass it down for generations, you know? It's going to hold up. These are not dishwasher safe though, so watch out. But looking at the large bin, putting a couple of items in there from my laundry edit, you can see that that can just be divided very nicely. And so within many of these products, we find those smaller acrylic bins that can be nested inside of them or used separately. It just really helps with micro organization so that you don't have all of these broad categories in one location. This is exciting. Three piece canister edit. Now, uh, uh, of course they show it to us with, you know, these three pieces, these three, these three. So you would have to have three sets of this individual bundle, but it looks really cute together. It looks really fun. I would be so much more inclined to have these healthier choices for a snack. Just seriously put them at eye level in your pantry and you're just like, ah, oh, drawn to them. If you watched on season two of Get Organized with Home Edit, there was this little boy and when he went into the pantry, he actually went for the healthy choices and not the Cheetos. I don't know, they were both there. It's just like he was drawn to what he could see and that's pretty nice. So you've got these really great closures on here. I'm excited to try that out if it gives you a nice snap sound, little ASMR for you. Actually, it's more of a whoosh of air. And um, of course they feel sturdy as ever. But that's not all. There is also bento boxes now. What? <laughs> all right. So on the Home Edit Instagram, they show these used in several different ways. I loved the initial idea on their reel is for movie theater snacks. That's pretty cute. So they had popcorn and a couple of other things on the side and it just seemed really cute. Even if it's just in your home theater to have you know your little bento box is so exciting. All right, then of course you can just, I mean, put the most obvious things that you would normally put in your individual bento boxes, but you've got three in here, those really long closure pieces, which will be nice to keep everything airtight and fresh. So I'm looking forward to putting them in use and I just, I gotta say with all of it, it really looks like eye candy. When you've got products in them, it's just, I love it. Food container. Now, this is obvious, you're gonna put food in this, but just like with the bento box, you can put other things if you wanted to organize crafts or something like that in them. So with such versatility, you can't go wrong as long as you like the size of it. And if you need the um, nice seal, that's of course really key with this product. So we've got an airtight seal. It looks like it has a silicone lip in there and then we see a few different ways that they are utilizing them. We've got um, dried goods, and then, of course, some prepared produce, or you could put leftovers, whatever you like. I'm, I'm like excited to actually stock my fridge just as much as my pantry. Yee! We're talking about food. May as well grab this guy. Let's start with a drawer. So we've got a six-piece kitchen drawer edit. This has two narrow XL insert bins, four narrow large insert bins, and of course you could use it for things beyond silverware as well. So I'm looking forward to trying out a few different options with this. In addition, we have two different types of bath edits. You've got two different product bundles, 
different products in them, different quantities. So I'm going to pull those up and we'll take a look at them next. We are taking a look at the four piece bath edit and the 10 piece bath edit. Large drawer, large insert bin, medium insert bin, small insert bin. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Those insert bins nested inside of the drawer makes it more functional. You have the compartmentalization, which can be really nice so that things aren't falling all over, especially in the bathroom when you have so many different sized personal products. So loving the inspiration here. Um, I love that there's the nice big handle, but we still have that acrylic face to it. That is going to make it really easy for people like me who are a clutter bug style of butterfly. If you don't know what I'm talking about, take the clutter bug quiz. It, it's pretty eye-opening. So I definitely need to have easy solutions such as open bins, clear bins, hooks, and that sort of thing in order to maintain a system. I'm somebody who needs visual organization in order to maintain it. And this really fits the bill. We're seeing a few other types of um, items in there. I think what's fun is you can theme each of the bins that you have. So each pullout drawer could be something different like spa night in, that kind of thing, right? Everything is so heavy too. That's how you know that it's really sturdy. And then the 10 piece bath edit. I mean, this just goes without saying. You're gonna have so much organization. I'm taking a look at the options within this guy. I could make this work in a lot of places in my home. Should we see a few? Well, I just showed you a pullout drawer, so why don't I go over to a different style? So with the four piece bath edit, we saw the pullout front drawer. And then with the large drawer, we also have that same concept. You've got your large bin and then the large drawer frame that you can pull out and access. If I'm gonna spend the money on it, I want it to be once. I don't wanna keep buying bins for the sake of bins and trying to organize for the sake of organizing. There's such a thing as hobby organizing and I've been doing it for too long. So now I just want solutions that work for me that I'm not trying to continually go back to and solve some sort of problem for why it didn't work out in the first place. In this case, I would have the large bin that I could use for anything and I would have the drawer frame that I could use for anything. So if I decide not to keep them married together, they still function separately. I don't think I could say that enough. And this is really a great one to emphasize the excitement of labels. Like for somebody who loves labels, me, me included, I think it's so appealing. We can see that we've got sweaters in here, right? But it's nice to have the drawer labeled seasonal. And then you can change it out according to the seasons. I just, I think that there's some sort of calming sense to having labels. And the Home Edit has labels. They have the home edit pantry labels that are specific for consumable goods in the pantry. And then they have the home edit multi-purpose labels. And I think there's 24 in each of those packs. So you have a lot of options. And a few duplicates for the most commonly used items. This is maybe unexpected for some of you. If you're not familiar, they have a six piece office drawer edit. <laughs> Could you comment below if you love office supplies? I think there are so many of us out there that love office supplies, but you don't always feel comfortable enough to nerd out about it. And this is a safe space, friends. You can tell us how much you love your favorite pens and your favorite items and how much you want them all to look beautiful together when you pull out your drawer. So in this case, every product has a place, right? We've got options. Options are my favorite too. I think that goes back to like my Enneagram 7 type. I, I, need, I need to have options. I don't wanna feel limited by anything. And I feel like there are limitless possibilities with these products. Of course you can use them in the office or you can use them elsewhere. And just like so many of the other products, an XL bin could work really well in an office closet. So really, I think you have to think outside the box. Oh my goodness, okay. We have Clea and Joanna to thank for that, don't we? 
Well, the multi-purpose edit is the last one, and as you can imagine by the name of it, an eight-piece multi-purpose edit. Could you imagine the possibilities? We have two large bins, two large insert bins, two medium insert bins, and two small insert bins. Need I say more? So many possibilities. Now I have the laundry edit already, and I can tell you that uh, being able to use the modular storage comes in handy in so many ways. So, loving, ooh, yeah. I'm loving the sizes, and I'm loving the interchangeability. Let's see more of this in use. last couple of things to remove off of here and then otherwise I've got a clear shelf to start with. Like it when that bin is that way? Yeah. Okay. Everything is so gorgeous. You would put toys in this if mm -hmm. I got you this? Just because you like the picture? Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. So actually. You would actually put them away from all that? If you missed my Walmart Shop With Me video, you'll see I revealed tricks for finding the home edit collection throughout the store. Then don't miss the next video when I completely organize my pantry using the Home Edit collection. Can't wait to get the Home Edit labels on my new bins.